Hi, I'm Rob and this is Gems of War. In this video I'm going to show you the team I'll be using for the world event. This is a melting point and you do this with your guildmates. This is really cool and solid snakes. If you've not grabbed the Steel Cobra yet, make sure you grab that from the weekly event part of the shop. That's a Metal Gear Solid reference there, solid snakes. Right, melting point. What you should always do is make sure you grab any rewards your guild has completed already. The reason is, as you go along, they'll be collecting tokens of iron, which are part of your rewards, and these will eventually evolve into a badge, which will eventually evolve into a medal. And this basically means you do more damage during the event, so it's totally good to get these straight away. Let's see what we get. Orb of Growth. Yes. See, I haven't done anything yet, but I've got a badge of iron. Right, now, what I also recommend is from the shop, you always grab tier one. The reason is, you get a potion of enchantment. A potion of enchantment means all your troops are going to start enchanted at the start of every single battle for the entirety of this event. And that is super duper handy, so we'll be totally doing that. Right, I'm going to do that one just to show the effect of that. Now, you want to do next is make sure you apply that benefit so somewhere here we've got a there it is badge of iron so just chuck that somewhere we've got it applied now not benefit from extra damage right and now i'm going to don't know what team i'm going to do for this yet so i'm going to do it actually live so to speak what i always look for in these kind of things is a troop that does damage to all. Um, this sort of thing that does just damage to a single enemy is going to take too long. I want someone that's going to do damage to all. Bone oh, no, that, that does scatter damage. Scatter damage is okay, but it's just not as fast as um, doing individual damage to all. If you've got um, some Mambasira mythic troops, just chuck as many as you've, you know, of them you've, you've got in the team. And you'll be good to go. That'll be really quick. But that's only if you've got the mythic stuff there. Naga Queen. Nope. Uh, nope. Nope. Ah, oh, Ruttigar. Deals damage to two random enemies and inflict a random status effect on each of them. And starts battle with 75% mana. That is good to me. I will have three of them right now. We can always change it later on. If we find something better, but I'm not... That's the new troop, Steel Cobra. Splash damage is okay, but if you hit someone who's in second place, you'll hit the troop above and below. Then you've got to hit the one second from bottom. And, yeah, it's not going to be as quick as Rattigar, I don't think. Sara, no. Okay, I think that is the main options. Either Rattigar for dealing damage to two random enemies. It doesn't matter which ones it hits, because when you hit the other two, they're going to be killed anyway. Oh, it inflicts curse. I didn't notice that before. That is actually quite handy. It inflicts curse when dealing skull damage. Ooh, that's something to think of in the future. Curse is very, very handy. Or if you've got Mambasera, just chuck as many as of them if you've got in the team. And Bone Naga if you have not got Ratigar. Right, a weapon to go with this. I like to do, um, either, again, damage to all. This is the Cobra's Curse weapon. This is pretty good. But creates red and green, so that's not exactly ideal. And it's using exactly the same colours as Rattigar, so not too great. As to an enemy, explode 41 red gems is good. And it uses opposite colours to Rattigar, so that is a... I'll pick that one for the minute. You can always change it if there's something else we fancy changing instead. Eliminate wall armor. 41 damage to all enemies. You can't really go wrong with that. And that is a really low level weapon at the same time. I'm going to pick that instead. Alright, that is a pretty decent ready to go team. So Rattigar is there. Starts with 75% full mana. So basically it's only going to need two mana to get, get going. So basically... We'll have them first. Even though Wicked Scythe does more damage, it's going to take slower to get um, charged up. 
and Rattagar is going to start on 75%, so we literally only need a very small amount of mana. So we're going to concentrate on, we want those really as our main colours. And on a minus, oops, don't want that. Let's see what that comes up with. All right, that's pretty decent. Yeah, there you go. Rat banner will be fine. So we're looking for brown as our primary colour. And class, I don't think class is ever so important on this one. Just go for something you're trying to get up to 100. Or you're looking for 250 wins to get the class weapon. Anything that you need to get some work on. I'm going to put it on assassin. 10% chance to assassinate the last enemy when I deal skull damage is handy. Poison enemies when doing skull damage. And hunt. Yeah, you could have that as a lower level player. That'd be really handy. All Naga allies gain one armor every turn. There's a summon there, which is handy. Don't really want a dark storm. Not be targeted is nice. Death mark is always handy. If you get a quick lucky kill, then it's completely handy. Right. Good to go. It's a simply a case of looking for literally it doesn't really matter about the banner right now because any any green, any brown do damage to all and everybody's charged up so we're going to be doing quite a bit of damage we can just cast one then the other the mythic troops are usually worth the most points in this i'll put the scoring system in the comments below or in the description even Just alternate turns with them, and then the third Naga will be ready really, really, really quick to cast. As in the third Rattagar, even. And then once that's cast, you can cast Wicked Scythe. And that will do more damage as well. Steel Cobras. Can't get green. Let's get brown. Result is the same. Fairy Godmother. Already got to the point where we have to multiple cast now, you see, so might be worth taking skull hits when they become available. Now the wicked scythe is ready to cast, we can do that. That's gonna take out a couple. And just leave one behind who we can pick off. No none of our colours, so we'll see if we can bring the skulls closer. All these wish gems, shame you can't match them. <laughs> Just give me a skull hit and be gone. Oh, there it is. There you are. So, this is slowing down already, requiring multiple casts on Fairy Godmother. Just take a quick look at the end of this battle, see if there's anybody else we can change to and do more significant damage. It's okay for these early level ones, these are going to be wiped out really, really quickly. But 
would be handy if we could do higher level damage. It's quite nice art on those cobras actually. Very nice. The Lingerer. Right, so if we could get a higher level one now. No, we can't. We've still got the low level ones. Warm Steel Cobra. Or strong Steel Cobra. Hmm. Kaboom. level 25 she's not armless just cast each in turn and that is dealt with that situation Regardless of what happens after this, I'll, I'll take a quick look and see if there's anybody that does more damage. Because like I say, on the high level, this will be slightly slow going, but sometimes it's just the way it is with certain teams. There's not actually many ways you can actually increase the damage level. Or you can only do individual damage to certain troops and take them out one at a time. But if it's a high level damage, then that's still pretty good. I'll grab that anyway. Right, so this is Fairy Godmother 64, so let's see how long this takes to deal with this team, and then I'll take a look at C and see if we can um, increase the damage. R2 is going to try and increase the power. Death mark applied. Well, one of them is going to be caboozled. I'll drop. I take a second to charge these up again. There you go. Okay, not horrendous, but hardly mind blowing either. But sometimes there's very little choice. Let's have a look at the damage. Nope, that's not better. Neither is that. Mm. That's got potential. Deal true damage to an enemy, and if the enemy is poisoned, deal double damage, then deal 33 true damage again. If they're stunned, deal double damage. So deal... <laughs> in my case, deal 33 true damage to an enemy. If the enemy is poisoned, deal double damage. Then deal 33 true damage again. If that's... Yeah, okay. That's pretty decent, actually. Casting them in turn... Would be good, but 17 mana cost. It's going to take a long time to get three of them charged up, and it's still probably quicker to just cast these a couple of times. No. Nope. Nope. Let me know about that one. That's Charm. Uh, 
that's had a that's not too bad 43 true damage is quite high obviously if you're lower level or newer to the game your damage won't be as high as that it's all relative to the, the magic you've got but if you had three of them that could be good but i'm still going thinking this ratagar team would be quicker right now that's an exploder so is that all right i'm actually thinking this is probably the best way to go right now. That's an exploder as well. Yeah. So I do actually think this is... Okay, Vanoxia is pretty good. If you've got Vanoxia, that's another way to, to go with it. Could definitely um, do that. That would do a lot of damage. Yeah, so if you've got Vanoxia, I would probably change to that about now. I might change that and just show the... Let's see how fast we can get Vanoxia charged up. So I have two of them. That's true damage. Remember Sierra? Nah, it's too slow. Right, I'm just going to change to three lots of Vanoxia. But I don't want to get Scythe anymore because that's mana blocked. So once it's going to explode and charge up the team preferably without blocking Vanoxia but I don't think there's any other options that's literally all I've got for explodey explodey things they're still going to be quicker overall because if you have to multiple cast this I'm still going to chuck that to the top And now we want to concentrate on blue and purple. Oops. Really? Really? I'll do that. That's fine. All right. So let's see how quick this is now on this. So we're looking to charge up the scale guard protector at first. So it's pretty quick to get charged up. There's not a lot of red there, though. We'll cast it anyway. We'll actually grab that first. That makes more sense. Because it does damage the wall, boost it up. Yeah. When it gets to the stage where you have to multiple cast that Rattagar, I would definitely switch to Vanoxia if you have Vanoxia. So it was very, very easy. And pretty quick. Any blue and purple going on anywhere? I don't think so. Wow. Charge people up pretty nicely. Yeah, when you get to the higher levels, when you're dealing with much more powerful enemies, and if you can put three Vanoxia in like this, then it's going to be way way faster than that other side nice little combo kaboosh and then the second block should be ready at the start of this turn in fact they all got three of them got charged up again after that little um, cascade that was very nice all right, so uh, may as well do one more because it's the last uh, sigil I've got before I get the other two tiers to do later on, two and three. I always get the first three tiers, at least. Help out the guild and all that, tomfoolery.
Dead, dead, dead. Everybody's dead, Dave. Right, well, there's the teams I'm using for this. So, really easy to start with at Rattagar. That's by far the fastest way of getting it done early doors. Just chuck three of them in the team. Start about to a 75% mana. Then, when things get tougher, change it over to Vanoxia. Right, thanks for watching. Catch you again next time. Bye for now.